I believe all humans have a gene or an instinct to explore. That's why humans have spread all across the planet. I think mine may be a little stronger than normal, for better or for worse. I just love the science of flying, I love the art of flying. Even though I've been flying for 40 years, it still amazes me that I can get in an airplane and fly across the state, across the country, or in our case, most recently, across the world. The idea of flying around the world, Amelia Earhart and Charles Lindbergh, that always fascinated me as a child. So when we got the PC-12, it has the capacity to fly around the world and do it comfortably and relatively easily. So we flew around the world in 2015 in an easterly direction. And then I learned that no one had ever been officially recognized for flying a polar round the world flight in a general aviation aircraft or any aircraft. The requirements for that are you go to the north and south polar regions and cross the equator at two points 90 degrees apart. So we took that on as a challenge and it was a huge logistical challenge, the Antarctic piece in particular. Okay, this is pretty unique. This is a flight plan from Antarctica back to Punta Arenas, Chile that we just got with the official. Everything has to have an official stamp. We'll fly this flight plane in a few minutes. Antarctica is probably as close to the moon or as Mars as I'll ever get. It's natural in the way the Apollo astronauts called the moon magnificent desolation. The moon has no life, but there's beauty to that desolation. And I had that same sense flying over Antarctica. I've combined aviation and conservation and nature and some ways that are pretty interesting to me. For me, connecting with nature is mainly about being out in it and letting myself be absorbed into it as much as I can. And the more unusual the place, the more exciting it is for me because I feel like I'm stepping out of my normal skin into something that's very different but very connected to human existence. In our modern world, we can isolate ourselves from that so easily. And so making yourself get away from it is important to me. People often say general aviation aircraft are time machines. You know, that's, that's certainly true. It saves you a lot of time. For us, the airplane's been a dream machine too. Many of these trips, the around the world trips in particular, have been a dream of mine since childhood. It's given us the option to go to some pretty exotic places like land on a gravel airstrip in Antarctica, which is a dream come true for me. 